Welcome to this month's finance tips and strategies, I'm Mario Borg. For some people, buying a property is like a maze. The process can seem daunting. Buying a property is likely to be the biggest financial purchase you'll ever make. Therefore, your priority should be to buy with minimal risk and with a level of certainty. To achieve this certainty, you need a purchasing strategy. Here are my eight tips which you can use as a guide to help you buy property in the most effective way. First, you need to work out what you can afford. I recommend you put together a cash flow analysis of your inflows and outflows to work out how much cash you can comfortably afford. Rates are currently hovering around 4% or less. However, I suggest using an interest rate of 5% to ensure you factor in possible rate rises. Next, your borrowing power. Contact us or talk to your trusted mortgage advisor to run your numbers across different lenders and work out how much you can borrow. Your borrowing power will vary from lender to lender. What type of property do you want? Once you know what you can afford and how much the bank is willing to lend you, think about your lifestyle preferences and where you can get the most bank for your buck. Is it a house on land you want or an inner city apartment to enjoy the lifestyle you desire? Is it capital growth you want or a higher yield? The best person to assist here is a reputable buyer's agent. Don't leave it to chance and don't take advice from a novice as the wrong property will cost you. Do you need a pre-approval? Talk to your trusted mortgage advisor to find out if a pre-approval is recommended. Usually a pre-approval is smart if you are buying property on a short settlement time frame, or if your financial situation is unique and you need certainty that you can achieve the loan that you want. What are the numbers saying? If it's an investment property you are buying, work out your projected out-of-pocket cash flow commitment. There are many variables to consider, so be sure to seek professional advice to avoid surprises down the track. The numbers don't lie. Work out your walk-away price and stick to it. Who's helping you find opportunities? Have you ever noticed that some real estate agents are easy to reach, whilst others it can take days and several attempts? It's all about relationships. If you engage a professional buyer's agent to help you with the purchase, you'll also have access to off-market opportunity, giving you a huge advantage over the competition. What about the legal contract? Obtain a copy of the legal contract and Section 32 vendor statement and ask your legal representative to run their trained eye over it. The Section 32 discloses many facts about the property, including title details, zoning, conditions of the sale, and so on. Finally, if you are fully committed to buying the property and you want to move ahead, then consider a pre-purchase inspection to ensure you're not buying a lemon. Of course, you only want to commit the cost for a building inspection if you're confident you have the budget to win. Auctions can be hit and miss, as we've seen of late, with properties selling way above reserve. So do your homework and be realistic with your budget and property of choice. When it's all said and done, those with a purchase strategy will be the ones that will buy their desired property with minimal or zero risk. For more information about today's topic or for specific advice, I can be contacted on marioborg.com.au by lodging an inquiry on the Contact Us page. Until next month, take care and I look forward to bringing you more finance tips and strategies at our next catch up.